people have been uh, sending me emails asking me, how can we make a DVD? I, I've uh, edited my project, and uh, then when I go to make a disc, um, I just can't seem to uh, find a way to do that. I, 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 can, I just can't make a DVD. I want to send a DVD to Grandma, and I just can't do it from, from Edius. Well, let's take a look at that in this tutorial. It's a high-definition project uh, coming off of a Canon XF300 uh, camera. Uh, shot in 25 progressive and that's the project settings that we have uh, for the project and this is the problem that uh, many people are experiencing they are editing their high definition project whether it's progressive or interlaced and then when they go to do the burn to disk option under the export options here under the record preview window you have this little uh, export option here with a little down arrow and uh, as we go through our list of options here, when we go to do the burn to disk, we see that it's grayed out. And people email me and ask, well, why is this grayed out? Why can't I make a DVD of my project? Well, one of the reasons why uh, this option is not available is because you are editing a high definition project and by nature DVD is standard definition. And in this case, uh, we're editing a progressive file and uh, by nature the uh, DVD file needs to be interlaced. And so the project that we're working on is not DVD compliant and therefore the option is not available. But uh, never panic, never fear, uh, we can work around this problem and make a DVD of our project. And how we do that is, first of all, export our timeline to an AVI file. And the way that you do that is you could uh, use your same option here, but this time choose Print to File, uh, or hit the F11 key. Now, the very first thing that you're going to want to check when this box opens is the export between in and out. First of all, make sure that you have your program set with an in and out. Uh, where you want the video to start, have your in point, and then where you want your DVD to end, have your out point. Otherwise, EDIUS will uh, export your whole timeline, giving you, in this case, seven minutes of black uh, in front of your program, and you don't want that. Uh, this is uh, a new, f new feature, shall we call it, or a function, or a bug, let's call it, of uh, EDIUS 6, to have this uh, uh, demand to have the export between in and out checked. And unfortunately, as of version 6.02, uh, EDIUS does not remember that this is your uh, default desire to have the uh, export between in and out checked. And so each time you open up the export window, you need to go and check this, otherwise you're gonna get the whole timeline. It has something to do with uh, broadcasters preferring it that way and requesting EDIUS to make it that way. But in my opinion, it should uh, remember your last choice and default to that. And perhaps that will come in the next uh, update uh, for EDIUS. A lot of people are asking for that. But for now, just remember you have to uh, check the export between in and out before you do anything else. And then what we want to do is create an AVI file. A Canopus HQ is probably fine for our purposes here. Uh, make sure you've got the Canopus HQ fine. If you uh, have a lot of hard drive space and uh, you want to maybe get just a little bit better quality, you could also choose the Canopus lossless for your export. But let's go with Canopus HQ and choose the Canopus HQ fine and uh, hit export and uh, choose the destination drive where you'd like to send that uh, temporary AVI file. Maybe you want to make a new folder. give it a name and EDIUS will export that file to its own proprietary AVI file with its own codec and depending on the speed of your computer it should uh, uh, export that faster than real time. This is about a nine minute program looks like it's going to take about uh, well four minutes or so on this computer. Okay, and uh, now that we've uh, exported our file, what we can do is close this high definition project. And uh, open up a new project. And this time we need to open up a DVD compliant 
project. And so let's go with new project. And a DVD compliant project would be, uh, in the case of PAL country, a 50 interlaced SD project. Uh, in the case of NTSC, you would want a 60 uh, frame interlaced uh, project. Because this was shot in PAL, we'll go with a standard definition, uh, 720 by 576, 50 interlaced. We see that we don't have a preset. Let's just check down here. We don't have a preset for a standard definition 16 by 9 uh, project. And because this project was shot in 16 by 9, let's go ahead and click the one that's closest to what we want, a 720 by 576, 50 interlaced. And then uh, also check customize so that we can customize this uh, preset to uh, change this to a 16 by 9 format. And we see one here, a PAL 720 by 576, 50 interlaced, 16 by 9. So now when we create this project, let's first of all get rid of these odd tracks, VA tracks and title tracks, and uh, everything else is fine for this purpose. Let's just go ahead and hit OK. And now we're starting a DVD compliant project. We can go to our bin and find the file that we just exported from the previous project. And let's see, where did we put that? Uh, I think it was in iOmega. We created a new folder. Right, we called it temp files. And here is the file that we just exported. So we can bring that in and we can drop it on the timeline. And now you'll notice that even though we exported a high definition uh, file, an, a high definition AVI file, we can bring that file into a standard definition 16 by 9 project and EDIUS will uh, play it fine. And uh, it does its uh, converting magic in the background where it's actually converting this high definition file into a standard definition uh, project on the fly in the background. And uh, so now when we go to export, we'll see that our burn to disk option is available. And that's because we are now in a DVD compliant. We're in standard definition and we're in an interlaced project. So now we can do burn to disk. And we come up with the EDIUS uh, burn to disk uh, dialog box where we can choose a few settings where we can uh, spice up our DVD a little bit if we like. For example, we could give it a kind of a, a starting menu. Uh, let's first of all choose uh, DVD as our output. And uh, if we want to have this uh, kind of an opening menu, uh, make sure that that's checked. And uh, choose the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. And then if you want to go in and edit your menu a little bit, I would say beside this little thumbnail, you might, uh, especially if it's uh, grandma that you're sending the DVD to, uh, maybe just uh, something like play video. And then if you want to give your video a name, you can do that here. Okay, let's take a look at uh, some of the options that EDIUS gives us here for the uh, right options. And first of all, we could uh, change the volume uh, label. And uh, for the number of disks, you could uh, make as many as you like there. We'll just go with the one. And uh, if you have more than one DVD burner attached to your system, you could uh, make sure you're selecting the right one there. And uh, as far as speed goes, uh, a lot of people recommend that you choose a lower speed, a right speed, than what is actually capable. Uh, what your DVD burner is capable of. And that way it minimizes the chance that any errors will be uh, written to the disk if you choose a slower speed. And uh, let's see what we have under Enable Detailed Settings. Uh, you can obviously change where your temporary folder goes to. And uh, we don't need to make a disk image, but it's nice to know that EDIUS allows you to do that. And Okay, let's check under option here and see what we have. Uh, you can choose whether you want to show that menu uh, 
uh, or just go ahead and play the first uh, title. In this case, we'll choose the show menu so that Grandma can have a chance to uh, hit play on her remote. In the second box, you can choose what happens when the first uh, title is finished. In this case, we'll go back to menu. Well, it looks like those are the only options that were given. I was kind of hoping that uh, Edius here would give us um, some options as to what bit rate uh, we would uh, be able to use when we encode our DVD, and uh, or at least let us know what bit rate it's using to give us an idea of the expected quality of the DVD. But it uh, doesn't look like they're going to let us in on that. At least in this version of Edia 60 perhaps in a further release they'll they'll give us more of that information uh, and give us options to choose from when we for when we're encoding our file. It's kind of actually the downside of uh, using the tools of Edius to encode and uh, burn your DVD or create your DVD. Uh, of course, if you're working for a commercial client, you would probably want to purchase encoding software and uh, DVD authoring software that's more professional. These little tools that come with Edius uh, are just kind of a an extra bonus uh, to Edius. Edius is more of a editing program uh, than it is an encoding program or a DVD authoring software program. And if you want to do those in a professional way, you really need to expect to purchase those separately. Canopus Grass Valley does have a product called Procoder for encoding, and uh, there are a number of other uh, fairly reasonable options out there. However, you can spend up to $25,000 on a professional encoder if you're really serious about encoding. So the little encoding uh, tool that uh, we receive here from Edius uh, is probably just fine for grandma or friends or family or even just home DVDs. But if your project is uh, more commercially targeted, then you probably want to uh, look into purchasing some uh, additional software for that. But let's go ahead and uh, create our disk down here. And Edia starts off by, first of all, encoding this AVI file to a DVD MPEG-2 file. And then it will go ahead and write to the blank DVD that we've placed in our DVD burner. All right, uh, and once uh, Edia has finished encoding the project, it uh, goes and switches to the disk writing process. And because it's uh, just a short program, it uh, shouldn't take too long here to burn our DVD. And when it's done, Edius lets you know, you hit OK. Finished writing to disk, it, it ejects your disk. And if you want to test it out, just uh, close your DVD drive and uh, see how it looks. And there we have it, a DVD from an HD project.